What is up everyone, it is Rob the Vapor and finally we are back with another video for you guys and it is Vape Mail Day, it's been a while since I did a Vape Mail video so we have one, so happy days and we're also going to talk a little bit about channel updates, channel future, etc, etc so look at this, ooh, it's a big old box, I cheated a little bit and already opened it but I had a peek, I didn't, I didn't go through everything uh, so we have some e-liquids from my boys at Molik or Malik Molik uh, and these are actually no wait are these flavors Hang on. no 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 these aren't flavors these are e-liquids and um, I gotta try these bad boys out uh, so you'll see a review for these coming up soon which is these guys right here um, I think they're uh, high PG so I'll probably try them in my phone. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, I'm fairly sure they're yeah, pretty high PG, I'll, I'll take a look later. Okay, so then the next thing that we have coming up is I want to do a DIY tutorial sort of, not, not so much, well yeah, a tutorial and like an introduction into DIY and just show you guys how easy it is because it's like super, super simple. So I wanted to do a little video just to show you how easy it is because maybe if you guys see me do it, you might be prompted. So these are the awesome guys at Molin Shop, which is why it's kind of confusing because Molin Shop is the name of the website, or Molin Shop, Molin Shop, M-O-L-I-N. Uh, but their e-liquids are called Molik. So, I don't know. <laughs> it, it got me confused. Big shouts out to Lucas over there, or Lukash, as they say in Poland. Hej, Shesh. Sh sh I, don't, I can't I can't do Polish okay so for purposes of the video we got an absolute ton of different flavors here and I must say their um, packaging is pretty sweet uh, so let's let's try out let's get away for this cactus so I got a ton of flavorings because I want to do um, uh, a lot of different flavors and stuff like that not for the DIY videos for the DIY videos we'll make maybe one or two this fucking childproof. See, because I'm a big child, I always have problems with childproof cat. Mmm, that's nice, you know. That's Mexican cactus. That's actually quite nice. Ah, so we got all these flavors. Now, the one I want to get to right here is Pam Coconut. Because Pam Coconut. I love coconuts. So let's see. Childproof cat. Again, this is a two handed job. There we go. Oh, that's good. That's very much like coconut. That's impressive. That's really, really nice. These are all EU Medi liquids as well, guys, and flavorings and all that. So that's uh, a good thing. And also on their website, they have 15% off on your first order, which is a pretty good deal and very good service. Uh, Lukash has been Lukash. <laughs> has been nothing but professional and a uh, really nice guy to talk to so pretty awesome milkshake that smells good too that smells good too we've got a lot of flavor so I'm not gonna no sniff all of them for you guys just to say but we have uh, we have some pear because I like pears we have banana we have some vanilla we have some uh, peach, I believe. Is that peach or mango or something I got? I can't remember what else I ordered. I have a lot of stuff there. There's more flavors, flavors, flavors everywhere. Um, also, yeah, what's this? I want, I want to check this out. This is a 30 ml bottle of something. So I haven't done a vape mail video in a while, guys. And I think that's because usually my post gets brought into me when I'm half asleep and I like open it in the bed and shit and I'm like looking at it going awesome so it's a, it's a good start to the day but today this was brought by DHL it was ordered yesterday by the way so very quick as always from DHL but uh, yeah so basically a little bit about Molin Shop is they do DIY supplies uh, and they also do e-liquids they have grown e-liquid brand so the DIY supplies, basically they have absolutely everything you would need to make your own e-liquid. So we're going to talk about that in the video. Uh, which is where I hope you guys will buy your gear from because it all looks very good. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to trying out their nicotine, their VG and stuff and seeing how it tastes with the flavours. Oh, okay. So this is a 6mg bottle of a liquid called Good Evening. 
right and is there any propylene like yeah so these are these are 70 30 so this is 17 propylene glycol and 30 vg uh, i would like if these guys if the guys from molden uh, see this uh i wish more companies would do like a, a 70 in, in, in reverse 70 vg 30 pg because a lot of people now have sub tanks and all that stuff so, so it might be worth considering for you guys that smells good one thing i really do like about pg liquids though uh is that they're so flavorful that's why i actually really like um pg liquids now i prefer vg but I, like having a, v, uh, a good PG liquid every now and then at like 1 ohm or 0 0.8 ohms or something is an enjoyable experience in my eyes. Okay, so that's that. That's that. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, got some bottles. Plastic bottles to mix. So, plastic bottles. Um, I ordered a few of them separately because I, I needed some to mix and let's see okay right so let's get this stuff out here and it's very very professional very well everything is very well laid out and just like you know as a matter of fact uh i would go as far as to say just with the cards and like the uh just the way that they carry out business is probably the most professional i've seen on a website because you can't even buy the strong nicotine, which leads me to my next point. You cannot buy strong nicotine concentrate from these guys unless you're a registered business. So that was a kind of an issue for me because I use stronger nicotine. Uh, but so on their site, they, they sell six milligram or 18 milligram uh, VG or PG base or 50 50 base, whatever. So you, you can just make a liquid straight off that. You, you you can cut out the middleman. You don't need to add your own propylene glycol, your own VG, or your own nicotine. You literally could just buy ready-mixed nicotine and VG or nicotine and PG, which is entirely vapable, and then add your flavor, and that's it. It's, it's that simple with these guys. Or, which is the way I like to do it, because I have more control over it, you can mix all three. So we have some Nick base. We have some propylene glycol. And we also have some vegetable glycerin. And it's really, really well packaged, very professional. Like, everything is very, I'm very impressed by their uh, packaging, their labeling. Um, fucking Poles, man. I can't get away from Polish. I have Chris from Sigreen as one of my good buddies who sends me sick stuff. And uh, now we have the, the guys from, uh, from uh, Molen Shop. If I can open this, let's see. Uh, yeah, we've got a fast tech screwdriver here to stab it. Uh, so, boom. There's no smell, which is the way it should be. Absolutely no smell from the VG or anything like it. So, yeah, guys, that was vape mail. I mean, um, big shout out to Molen Shop. Awesome. Thanks for the support. Thanks for sending me the stuff for review. And I will get to that pretty soon. Uh, I will probably do your juices first before I manage to get a the DIY video up. I think the DIY video is going to take a little bit of time. Plus, I want to get bet like I want to get DIY down fully. But so not only do they have the bottles, and not only do they have you know um, all the stuff that you need, but they have the syringes, the gloves, all that stuff. Now I already have syringes, gloves, pipettes, all that stuff, so I didn't buy any. But uh, if you need that stuff, it's all on their website. So. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a website that did everything that you could have for DIY to sort of sponsor a video because it's quite costly buying all that stuff and, you know, so happy days. But today I am vaping on the K-Phone V4, as always. <laughs> at, uh, we are at 0 0.7. So the spring in this is gone uh, after... Pff, I've used it heavy. January, I think I got it. January to... Was it January? Yeah, January or maybe February. It's not really that long, two and a half months, something like that. But the spring has gone. Now I can I know with the clones you can order the replacement screw, so I'm gonna order the replacement screw and then happy days it should work because Or replacement spring. Sorry. So what's happening is it's creating an atomizer short. Um so I need to get a new spring. 
it, it's uh, not fun. Like if I had this on a mic right now, I'd probably blow my hand off. Um, so yeah, I need to get a new spring for my beloved KF14. We also have the Mad Hatter RDA in the post. We also have the Limo 2 RTA in the post. And we also have the Freak Show Mini in the post. So we have a lot of vape mail coming up soon. I do not know when. Fast tech. Who knows. I am also going to be ordering a Goliath RTA for review. Uh, I want one of the big dual coil RTAs for review. Uh, it's been a while since I reviewed one. The last one was the Orchid. Uh, V2 which I enjoyed very much uh, and I'm actually using it again a little bit now so I'm having a bit of an orchid renaissance um, actually I've got it sitting on my uh, invader too so yeah so I've been enjoying it um, there's been some vape news uh, you might remember that there was a story I covered I'm going to gloss over this because I don't have all the facts there was a story that I did a, a chat a little bit about where it was a child died from drinking e-liquid so, it turns out that the child didn't drink e-liquid, it drank concentrated nicotine, which is the stuff you use in DIY. Um, so, there, I think that family are actually pressing charges against the company, because apparently there was no childproof cap sold with it. But, in my opinion, it's negligence. But that's in my opinion. Um, I, I kind of find it horrible that a, a company is being held responsible. Now, if it didn't come with a childproof cap, then it is their own fault. I've talked about this before in videos that you're only doing yourself harm if you don't cover your ass with things like childproof caps, etc., etc. You, you make yourself liable for accidents. For the stupidity of other people, you're making yourself liable for something as simple as a childproof cap. I don't think that they would have sold concentrated nicotine without a childproof cap. Who knows? Um... There's also been some regulations, there's talks about Hong Kong uh, banning the manufacturing and everything to do with e-cigs, which is kind of a big deal because Hong Kong is, while I think it's separately regulated and governed, it's still a part of China, so if they do it then maybe China might follow suit. It would be hard to believe that they would do that with such a big industry, but you never know. I would imagine there's a lot of big industries in China that have been banned in the past, so... Uh, it's an interesting one, it's worth looking up, check out the articles for that if you can find them. Uh, but I don't think it's too much to worry about, a few guys on ECREU that I use were sort of dispelling it pretty much straight away. Um, there's been a Cthulhu RTA release, that's a new RTA. To be honest it just looks more or less like a, a, a Goblin and Goliath and all those, so I'm going to skip the Cthulhu. I was going to get it, I was like yeah this would be pretty good for reviews. Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of people might be buying and thinking the very same thing. So uh, there's probably going to be tens of thousands of reviews out there for you guys to check out. I do want to get a Goblin for review though. Still, I still want to visit the Goblin. But if I get a Goliath, yeah, maybe I might totally skip that. But all in all, the channel is growing steady. I'm very happy and pleased. So thank all of you guys for the support. It means a lot, especially on Twitter, especially on YouTube. Um, if you haven't already, check out my Facebook, check out my Instagram. Uh, and I'll be continuing to put out videos, guys. Uh, and that's about all I have to say for this. A big shout out to Molin, uh, Lucas in particular, and also Marcelina. Uh, big shout out to Marcelina, who I only seen her name there now. So, Marcelina, thank you. I've been Rob DeVeber, you guys. Haters catch the Vapors. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching, peoples. Peace.